Okay, so in this video we're going to enable the uh, password complexity feature in Ubuntu. So the first thing we need to do is install the actual module, the command crack lib module that will enable that. So um, we're going to go to our terminal. Um, again, it's right here, so I'll just click on that. And remember, uh, since we're adding software, we have to escalate our privileges. So we use sudo and then apt get and install. And what we're going to install is lib pam dash crack lib. Hit enter, prompts us for our password, and it's going to prompt us to install. So we say yes, continue. It's going to go out and grab the package and install the package. Once that is done, we are going to edit the common password file, which we've done before. And that, remember, is in the Etsy. Um, keyboard's kind of messed up. Let's give it a second. There we go. Etsy Pam D. And I'll do an LS list all the files. There it is. So again, we want to edit it with our graphical editor or gedit. So sudo gedit common dash p and just as a reminder in case you didn't know um, you can use tab line completion um, we hit tab and it fills out the rest of that so here we go it's going to open up that file and we're going to search for pam underscore crack lib and so that's enough to identify where we want to be so this is it so this line right here got added when we installed the library um, and so by default we can see it already has some entries. One is the retry of three, so that gives uh, an individual up to three retries before it stops. Um, it kind of aborts the password changing process. A minimum length of eight. Um, now that's actually for um, credits, um, which is a little bit difficult to explain. So you just think of it as minimum length of, of the number of characters. but in actuality, it could be a little different than that. And then difoc equals three is the different number of characters from the previous password. So it has to have at least three different um, characters. So we'll, we'll go ahead and add to this. Um, we're going to go ahead and add u credit equals negative one. And that is for uppercase characters. We're going to do l credit equals negative one. That's for lowercase characters. And then we're going to do D credit equals negative one for um, uh, numerical characters. Now the reason I use negative one as opposed to one on here is that when if you if you look at all these U credit L credit D credit credit being the keyword it actually gives you credits for using those characters. So in essence um, you could actually have enough credits to not actually have eight characters and still meet that requirement. So instead, if we use a negative value, we're essentially forcing the system to enforce that there's at least one uppercase character, there's at least one lowercase character, there's at least one numeric character. So, so that's it, and we'll go ahead and hit save, and we'll go ahead and just close that out to clean up our screen. Okay, so we're done, but let's go ahead and test it out. So um, let's go ahead and switch over to our another user. So we're going to do sudo su dash Cameron. And so again, who am I? I am Cameron. So now to test it out, we're going to go ahead and do the password command, passwd. It's going to prompt us for our existing password, in this case, super secure password. So now it's going to ask us for a new password. So if we type in ABC, it says, okay, way too short. So we didn't meet our minimum length. Um, so if we go ahead and do, let's do Joe is man, enter. We see it's too simple. And hold on, there's a crazy clock behind me making funny noises that you'll probably hear. So, okay, there we go, that's done. Okay, so let's go ahead. Remember we had, um, we required one uppercase, one lowercase, and numeric. So if we do capital J, O, E, I, S, M, A, N, 1, 
uh, it takes it. So K capital J O E M A N one. Oh, I didn't type it in right. Let's try that one more time. And there we go. We have the exhausted minimum number of retries for service. Remember, we have up to three times to, to change it. If we don't successfully do it after the third time, it deports on us. So uh, up arrow, run that command one more time. Existing password, that's password. So we'll type in our new password, capital J O E I S M A N 1. Capital J O E I S M A N 1. Hit enter and it successfully changed that. So um, again, um, let's go ahead and just look one more time. So I want to uh, let's just exit out of that. I'm going to do sudo g edit etsy pan d common password and right down here. This is the line that we changed one more time. Minimum length, retry, different characters. Oh, and let's go ahead and show that. Um, upper credit, again, negative one. Lower credit, again, negative one. D credit, negative one. So let's let's show that die for feature. Again, that being different characters. So we'll up arrow a couple times. We're back over to Cameron. We'll do password. So we had J O E I S M A N with a capital J and the number one. So now let's do it again, but we're going to go Joe is men with a one. And as you can see, it is too similar to the old one. So the change I made was from man to men, and we needed at least four changes. So let's go ahead and go Joe is M E N exclamation point. Ah, same thing. Um, too similar to the old one. So let's go J O E is girl one and now it takes that. So again, capital J O E is girl one and it took that there. So hopefully you can see um, how that takes effect. Um, making the changes real simple, but to verify it and test it, it takes a little bit more time. Thanks. Bye.